Now that Joe Biden has canceled student loan debt for a lot of Americans, Republicans are in full spin mode. They don't know what to do now that Joe Biden keeps racking up the wins. So uh, here is a perfect example of that. Marjorie Taylor Greene going on to Newsmax to have a meltdown about how unfair it is that Joe Biden's canceling the student loan debt. For our government just to say, you know, okay, well, your debt is completely forgiven. Obviously, they have an agenda for that. They need votes in November. So the timing is a pure coincidence there as well. But it's completely unfair. And taxpayers all over the country, taxpayers that never took out a student loan, taxpayers that pay their bills and, and, and you know, maybe even never went to college or just hardworking people, they shouldn't have to pay off the great big student loan debt for, for some college student that piled up massive debt going to some Ivy League school. That's not fair. So the hypocrisy here is just insane. First, Marjorie Taylor Greene had a $180,000 uh, loan, PPP loan, forgiven, right? As well as a number of Republicans that you can see there uh, on the screen. And I will guarantee you that they are all saying in interviews today that this is just not fair. This is not fair for the everyday American who has to pay for the Ivy Leaguer's student loan debt. Which is just so insane that Donald Trump, the Ivy Leaguer, who they all love, just gave a huge tax break to the corporations, to big business. And where were all these guys? How? Dude, Donald Trump, that's just not fair. Nowhere to be found. Because they don't mean a word that they say. And even the words that they do say, they're complete lies, right? Marjorie Taylor Greene starts out the interview by saying that all of the low, all of the debt is forgiven. No, $10,000 of debt is forgiven if you make less than $125,000 a year. Her whole Ivy Leaguer analogy doesn't really make sense because... If you graduated from an Ivy League and you're not making over $125,000 a year, you're actually, you're swimming in debt. So you need this almost as much as the, the poorest students <laughs> did. If you're not making high six figures and you went to an Ivy League, like that's expected of you. So the number of, you know, Ivy Leaguers here who are requesting the $10,000 in loan forgiveness I'm sure is less than 0.01% of the 44 million Americans with, with debt. 20 million people are actually going to have their debt completely wiped, which is awesome. And it actually goes even further. This program is amazing. The $10,000 student loan forgiveness is going to go for anybody making $125,000 less. And then you have Pell Grant recipients who are going to get up to $20,000 in student loan forgiveness. Pell Grants are student loans that are uh, set aside for the lowest household incomes, lowest, lowest income households. Um, who, who, those people are the people who need the most help, except for those Ivy Leaguers who aren't making their, their you know, half mil a year uh, when they spent so much to go to college. And then on top of that, there's a whole restructuring program for how the payments are going to proceed if you still have the debt above the 10000 that was forgiven. Part of that includes cutting in half the uh, discretionary income that you would have to pay off uh, on a monthly basis. So if you were, if you had an extra, you know, $2,000 in discretionary income a month, then you would have to pay off 10% of that before. So that would be a $200 payment. Now it's down to 5%. So that's a $100 payment. So right there, you're still going to be saving money uh, on your payments in the future. There's also a restructuring of when you get your, your debt forgiven. And that's if you make payments, if you make your monthly payments for 10 straight years, you're good to go. Before it was 20 years. So... You know, everybody's talking today about the $10,000 being forgiven, but it's a whole other, there's a whole other part of this that 
are is really going to help Americans and and people who who graduated with student loan debt and even people who didn't graduate because there are people who didn't graduate who you know maybe a, a young woman got pregnant in college and had to drop out to raise a family or there was a death in the family whatever happened those people are still going to receive help as well so this is just another Biden win. It's something he said he was going to do. Now, I know a lot of Democrats wanted for all of student the student loan debt to be forgiven, but this actually erases 20 uh, million borrowers, all of their debt out of the 44 million who borrowed, which is huge. And then again, restructures the payments so that the other 24 million who are still paying are going to have a break. Just a huge win, again, for Joe Biden, a huge win for education in our country and for students and for anybody who, you know, is thinking about going to college, but then is looking at their aunt and uncle, their mom, their dad and saying, oh, my God, like they, they're, they're hearing them complain about their their student debt. This may make them say, oh, you know what, it's not that bad. Like, I, I can go to college. I can afford it. So major win for Joe Biden. Uh, and for, for, again, for the Republican Party that doesn't really stand for Americans, just be on the lookout over the next few days and weeks and months while this plan is unfolding because they are going to be spinning it. <laughs>